Okay, so, um, uh, you know, attack thoughts justify judgment. And like a therapist would say, it's it's good to have judgment because you can protect yourself from the bad people. Well, like, the thing with that is, um, so there's a few different things to say on that. There's different levels of consciousness. So if you're going to be in the head, um, there's also something called, you know, judgment, you see, judgment can be resolved from different levels of consciousness. So at the level of, um, say you're in, um, it depends what level of uh, consciousness you're in. So ju but ju judgment generally has a negative tone. It means to perceive another person as being wrong or bad. Uh, uh, um, so this person stole money from me therefore they are bad and they deserve to be punished. Uh, that would be something like a judgment. So um, there's a difference between being in high spiritual states and having spiritual awareness and discernment, like probably not good to leave my wallet on the table while that person's around. It's not judgment, it, it's spiritual discernment or spiritual intuition or, um, or, or a higher... A higher, um, a higher intuition is coming beyond thought. So what's the difference between thinking and intuition? Well, intuition comes from the infinite realm. It comes from God's omnipotence. So God knows more than what you can think or know. So sometimes when you're in those spiritual states of flow, it's not from your head, but you know you should walk down that street rather than that street. And something speaks to this person and it's not you who's speaking. And it's not you who's going here or there, or, and it's something has an intuition that this, you know, just stay away from that person. So that's not coming from the head. That's a sixth sense. So that's okay. And, and that doesn't involve judgment. But when you're in your head uh, saying another person is evil and bad and, and uh, you should attack them, uh, that's kind of, that, you see, that if you look at Hawkins' book, Power versus Force, when you try and come, from the energy of trying to attack and judge a person, uh, then uh, the universe will respond likewise. So uh, force is met with force, but but love, you know, uh, when you're in love and intuition, then you're you, you're um, you're defended to or you're looked after by by the um, spiritual realms much better uh, than if you're in your head trying to attack a person. So it's good to forgive a person. It doesn't mean you have to be stupid. Uh, like if I know this person, if I forgive, I can, love a, I can love a thief who steals money from me. But it doesn't mean I have to be friends with them. It just means that um, I, I just avoid them and don't, and don't, leave, um, don't leave my wallet around them uh, when I'm around them. So it's okay to, be, to love, but it doesn't mean you have to be, have no spiritual discernment. So that's the way you get out of it. And judgment is ego, because um, another thing to know with judgment is your ego is not omniscient. I mean, if you could, if, for example, past life karma could be known or the, uh, the spiritual laws could be known, then you'd probably see there's a, there's a higher order in why things are happening. Okay, I'll stop.